It's going to be about 15 seconds before it starts. Cool. Mm-hmm. Take one. I'm going to bring you in the beginning of your verse. It's this one right here. Let's go. Dev Rock. <laughs> mm, this is my song. I feel it. Young girl loves to struggle going through hell in the prayers. And remember God gets out trials like Santa does. Pray. A lot of my friends are locked up, dead. Or they are where they are doing what they were doing when we were in high school. No progression. They trapped where they are. If not for debate, I really had no idea where I would be. Okay, there we happened. go. You wanna hear the whole thing? Yes. Okay. You think people ignore you, you think people don't listen to you. You have a total of 13 minutes in a debate round where everybody has to shut up and listen to you. I think it's really the best thing that ever happened for me, for the Baltimore Urban Debate League, for every student that I come across. I haven't sent anybody to the hospital, but I've fought multiple times. Sometimes I get in trouble at school, but it's not because of fighting or anything like that. I don't have a problem with authority, I just don't like the way people talk to each other. Even if you're older than me, I will respect you, but you just can't talk to me anyway. Good morning, Lakeland family. I'm in eighth grade. I go to school at Lakeland Elementary Middle. At first, I didn't try out for debate. It was like a bunch of kids, they were going after school, and they were doing debate, but I really didn't try out for it until we got in the class. Deverick, or Uncle Fats, he just was like, you, you really need to come after school. Now my first debate tournament, I won two medals and I didn't think I was going to win. That's how really how I got involved with debate and ever since then they just wanted me to debate. It's a lot of kids that are on bad paths and I feel that we're all given the same opportunities. Like we're all in the same class, but y'all just not taking the best of what they're giving us. Almost everywhere in the United States, especially in urban areas where there is a good degree of crime, schools have turned to suspension and expulsion as the primary means by which they keep schools safe or they think they keep schools safe. Over three million students are suspended from school a year, disproportionately African American and Latino students. That means they're excluded from the classroom. Even one suspension triples the chances that they will become involved that year with the juvenile justice system. Let's go. All right, so today we are going to be talking about the resources in your community. We will go back and forth on each side. The affirmative side to my left will go first. Then will the negative side. Did y'all prepare? Yes. No. Reconvene, talk to one another, coach each other up, and make sure everybody's on the same page, all right? All right, two minutes starting now. Our questions better be real, real, real hard. Like, what if, what if y'all spend all y'all money up? Where all the money gonna go? At first, I didn't like school, but now I do because I learned some of the subjects I really am good at. I'm really good at social studies. That's one of my favorite subjects. With debate, I like to talk. And when we go through the cross sex, I just go through them questions. And if, and if people care so much about how many resources we have or what resources we don't have, why don't y'all just get Boodle is so very well designed to help adolescent children find their voice so that they see themselves as somebody who's competent and somebody who really has something to say and can really convince other people and have an impact on what other people think and do. First, I want to tell you, thank y'all. Y'all did a good job today in the debate round. Everybody clap it up. All right, line up at the door. We also have to get back to involving parents and community. Let's involve the people around that child so that they can get the support that they need.
Kayla is a very strong little girl, extremely talented. She's very good grade. She wants to go to the Baltimore School of the Arts. I had a debate today and I won. What was it about again? Do we have enough resources in our community? Oh, yeah. I was 15 when I had Kayla. That is two years older than she is now. And I think about that on a regular basis. When I was younger, it really used to get to me because I was one of them kids who wanted my mother and my father to be together. My father, I don't really see him that much, but I really don't have a, a relationship with him. I do feel like I am breaking the cycle with Kayla. I have, I have to, I have no choice. I, I need for her to be better than I was, than my mother was, than her mother was. I really appreciate the debate coaches and the mentors, and I, for one, really appreciate men that are in the school system doing positive things. We don't see a lot of that. Respect the mic. No. Let me hear it one more time. When I say D, y'all say B. D. B. D. B. When I say we, y'all say great. We. Great. We. Great. All right. All right, let's get started. Kayla is one of those students that needs to know everything. So you put something in front of her, she will make sure that she parse through and find out what it is that is going to give her the edge against the other debaters. And according to the space agency officials, planetary scientists, and disease experts, get ready to make sure your opponent understands that you're right and they're wrong. Excellent. You killed it. I was, I was impressed. I heard you was getting in that last round. Uh-huh. High five. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you are all winners. You are all worthy of awards. The awards that you received today, that everyone received, which is knowledge and experience, is way better than anything on this table. I right. need a jump roll. Third place team. We do better than that. From the homeschool, Lake Elementary Middle, Team PP. We know that if a kid is engaged in school with an adult and with his peers in a positive way, it's very much less likely that they're going to go down that other route. That's the pathway to success. I feel good and excited because I didn't, I didn't expect to get a trophy, and I wanted a trophy, so then I was happy. Then I got a trophy, and then I'm like, wow! And then she's like, you want to feed it? You want to feed it? And I'm like, I'm undefeated. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel. You guys have a great day.